welcome to the Art of Mindfulness with Patrick Dalrymple. Today we are going to do something a little different. I drew these boxes here and we're just going to draw something different in each of the boxes and it'll kind of be, I'll try to do it like a speed, a speed run, um, if I could say it that way. And so we're going to start in a few moments. I just want to take a deep breath before I start. And that calms me right down and you can do the same. I'll let you do it now. And let us begin. And I don't know how long I'll be drawing, but because this is kind of like a prototype show. So let's, let's do it. And everything that I'm drawing here, it won't be too long up until I fill the box. It's kind of like a, it reminds me very much of like the Egyptian um, hieroglyphics, I believe they're called. And now let's do another one. I have no idea what this is. But it's so interesting that it comes from the mind. And I'm not saying the mind is the ultimate thing in the universe. I'm just saying that it's like, where does it come from, all this stuff? Take a look at that. Moving on. And even if I finish all of these boxes quickly, We'll make something work here. We'll keep the show going. Like that. This is kind of fun. You know something? Let's add a touch of pink in each corner. I don't know why I want to do that, but it's kind of like a a different looking it almost looks like a calendar if you don't mind me saying that it's kind of funny you know what let's do it two pink boxes there speaking of pink let's do a little pink house here with a little little pig our cachon in french with a little bit of a little bit of sun outside. And some grass here. So now we're going to draw a heart. kind of keeping quiet because I am in focus mode. And let's make another purple one. Let's skip a few boxes and make this kind of like a square. With a, I kind of cut the square there, but let's do this. I guess it's going to be a little bit of a quiet show, but that's okay. Split these triangles like that and have one side that's orange. Well done. Like that. Make a tree here. And grass. I guess I'm thinking about spring a lot. 
the sun rays. Let's make the the whole sky full of sun, full of sun. And because we have some red, let's do some apples. And now we'll make a little star. And it's gonna be like a little lollipop, a lollipop star. Flavor, the flavor of the star is cotton candy. And that'll be enough for that little square. And so as we continue this, I might not be able to finish all the squares in, um, in this episode, we'll see. But uh, the point is you're just, we're kind of relaxing together. Thank you for sitting in silence with me. Sometimes silence is, is nice. We just, we contemplate things. Or maybe not, maybe we just wanna sit in quiet peace. Kinda of like the square, it's kind of weird looking. That's okay, a little spiral in there. In this square, and you know what? Let's have some fun with it. Let's make it a square of spirals. And we'll do one that is like that. And we're just gonna pick a few squares that are going to be black. That's it for that. And this will we'll make an apple. Just like that. I'm making myself fall asleep. My goodness. But it's good. It's kind of relaxing just to be to make this very simple, very, very simple. I'm not too sure what I'm doing here, but it just, just adds a little bit of color, just like so. And now we're going to make two people holding hands. And let's be diverse. They're both men, and that's okay. And they're happy. It's a happy couple. And now we'll do an arrow. Little boxes. I don't, like I said, this show is kind of Kind of whatever pops into my consciousness, my, my brain. We kind of go with that. Now let's do just a few dots everywhere. And I must admit, it's kind of cool to do this. And you know something, let's not leave these dots alone. Let's give them some friends, some nice little friends. Hey, how are you? What are we? I don't know who I am. Well, you're a dot. <laughs> okay. Do that, do that. Kind of like to play around with the corners here. And so let's do that.
Mm, let's do it. some dots inside there. That's kind of one of the weirdest squares, I'd say. But some people like weird. It's okay. I like weird sometimes. Makes me laugh. There. Let's keep that one real simple. Leave it at that. And, you know, let's make an A. A for awesome. one with just lines like this and we can color it's a very peaceful show today Make this one waves. And there's a storm outside. And there's a boat. But everyone's okay on the boat. Let's make the boat pink. Some lightning. The lightning is made of love. Let's make it pink, just like that. And now, I think just for, for fun, let's just do some random letters here. And now, because it's abstract, Let's kind of little zigzags everywhere. And this box is trying to get out of its box. It doesn't like being trapped. And in French, we would call that un gros barbouille, which means a big, um, just kind of mess. Although mess in French is dégâts. It's kind of a weird way to say it, dégâts. This box we're gonna leave empty. Uh, okay, how about this? Because I heard some of you say, let's don't leave it empty. We're gonna make a little dot. And here, let's do a squirrels with spikes, spikes. And we're gonna have one, two, three, four dots and they all connect. And do this, do that, do this, 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 like that. the end. Let's make an end here. Imagination. That poor dot. Maybe we should give it a little bit. Oh, telephone. It is, must be my grandmother calling, wishing me, watching the show and saying, hello, how are you? 
don't mind that it's just part of it's part of the environment And we are almost done. You know something? Let's let's make ET phone home. I think ET just called us. Let's make ET. This is my impression of a little friendly alien here trying to call us using a cell phone which looks nothing like a cell phone, but that's okay. It's all part of the imagination world. And oh my goodness, we're running out of time, but that's okay. We're gonna try to finish these boxes. You know what, let's connect them. Let us connect them. And it's okay, if you're wondering who is that person calling? It's all right, it's all good. Just pay attention to the sound of the phone. Pay attention to everything you're hearing with your ears, because it is part of the world of sensation, and we can't neglect that. So in a moment, we're going to do a little kind of analysis. I don't want you to have to worry about the sounds that you're hearing. Just know that we're both safe and it's okay. And so now I believe that we are just going to take a deep breath once again. And we're going to accept the movements of our body in space, we're going to accept what we're seeing with our eyes, what we're hearing, the visual representation of my imagination. And in a few seconds, we're gonna kind of do an analysis. And so I want you now to picture what, maybe not picture, but what aspect of this did you like? Did you like the fact that it was kind of different? That there was cubes and it, inside each realm was a, a different world. Maybe for you it represents a different world, a different picture into different realities. But this guy, let me tell you, this guy is a little bugger. He wants to escape. Should we give him a little bit of room to escape? Just a little room. There you go. He has the choice. He's not confined. And so now we're just gonna continue watching these little cubes, these little cubes of colors and little stories. Little aliens. Un petit cochon dans sa maison avec le soleil qui brille. That's for my French viewers. Subtitles, little pig with his house and the sun that's shining. And we're just gonna take the rest, a moment to really 
be mindful of what we're looking at. And when we come back, we're gonna do a really beautiful and nice contemplative meditation. Nous allons contempler avec une méditation. Welcome back to the Art of Mindfulness. Now we're going to do an end of the show meditation. And so we're just going to feel ourselves, feel the density or maybe the lightness, depending on how you feel, of what is it like to interact with your body. And so if you close your eyes and you just put your hands out like this, can you feel any sensation? Even if it's small, even if it's a sensation you don't necessarily associate with a meditation practice. So for myself, I can feel the sensation of my hands and my arms. It's not an ecstatic sensation. It's a very kind of peaceful vibration. And the deeper I go into a certain spot in my body, whether it be my hands or my feet or my eyes even, the more I spend time with my body, so to speak, the more I realize how much energy is actually in the human body. And so my job is to kind of showcase that and to teach people how to find peace within. And now I have my hands on this table and I can feel the table interacting with my hands. I can feel, I can feel certain emotions in my body. And so just sit with your emotions and know that whatever em emotions you feel, if it, if it becomes overwhelming, you can go back to sensing a certain spot in your body that is less emotional. We have spots in our body that are more emotional than, more energetic, I should say. More energy is stored there. For example, the heart area. Some people have a lot of pain in their hearts. And to those people watching, it is okay for you to feel that. It's okay to be sad sometimes or depressed. And it's okay to be happy. And oftentimes we weren't taught to be happy. We weren't taught that it, it, it was okay to feel good and for myself sometimes i feel good and i always wonder how long is this gonna last but to be honest it's okay if it lasts even 30 seconds to just hone in on that feeling and to enjoy it while it lasts and to to enjoy being a human being and know that it's okay to experience life and all its ups and downs. It's, it's a very natural thing 
to experience all the spectrum of emotions and to allow yourself to, to be. And so as we slowly end this meditation, let us just travel in our bodies. Let's start with the, our heads. What does it feel like to be, to have that feeling of separation from the outer world, to be inside almost, so to speak, a head. And oftentimes we can have headaches because we can be stressed, stressed. But it's very normal to feel emotions. And that is what I want you to take home with you today, that it's normal to feel. Until next time, thank you for joining me today. Mm -hmm.